hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today I am just going to talk to you guys again I really enjoy just sitting down and just talking off script just talking about life and hearing what you guys have to say so um today I just want to touch on the topic of relationships um, this week um, something came across our social media channels that once again brought up the issue of abuse and um, while I won't get into abuse itself I just want to talk about how much we conclude from social media posts when it comes to relationships we set these relationship goals based on pictures activities places that we see couples um, go activities that we see them take place in based on beautifully written captions and even years of togetherness we just form these conclusions that these people are goals these are the relationships that we should model these are the relationships that we should aspire to these are the relationships that we should ensure that we live up to and all of these are based on what we perceive based on what people decide to show us And it shows us just how dangerous this is I continually see people um, make comments on social media that they're done with relationship they don't with love and I'm something there because their favorite social media couples didn't work out now unless you know this person intimately not even then because even when you, you think you know people they're only you only know as much as as they show you or as much as they, they are willing to yeah as much as they show you that that's as much as you ever know about anyone and you are there looking on and you decide that yeah it is to me because the pictures turned out to be fake the activities that they engaged in turned out to be staged their beautifully written captions turned out to just be beautifully written captions and there was no deeper meaning to it and you just feel like say yeah what a point based on what they've shown you I just want to say to each and every one of you out there that this is so dangerous I mean there are people there are women out there who discredit the actions of their partner because of what they see others doing there are women who say them man not do enough because you know carry them go certain restaurants if not carry them go certain countries if not buy them certain outfits if not buy them certain handbags he's less than a man he's not showing his appreciation for you because you see other couples doing these things do not base your relationship on what you see or perceive others to be doing it's so dangerous and it will cause you to lose on lose out on someone who has given you their all and it comes back again to the whole materialistic state of mind that so many of us are in for me personally I will always choose someone who has repeatedly been good to me someone who spends time to feed my mind cater to my emotions invest in my love languages someone who 
helps me on my health journey someone who does overall invest in me as a person over someone who buys me the latest clothes the latest bags the latest shoes all of those stuff i will always show choose the person who shows me something deeper and that's where a lot of us are falling off the material the material elements and then sometimes these things blind us so much where we find ourselves in relationships where that was the basis for it you went into the relationship because of what the person could give you and then you realize that you need more and what happens then you go in search of that from someone who is investing a lot into you when you secretly are using them, using them for that aspect while still holding on to the person who can provide for you materialistically that's so unfair and so at the end of it we have people walking around saying that them can't find a good man them can't find a good woman when truth and in fact you just want someone who is good for your pockets someone who is good to profile with yeah that's what a lot of you guys are looking for and when it comes to men a lot of you get blinded by you know and the of the women and social media listen men it is I, I can I can see that it's hard to really focus when you log into your social media and see all oh, these women these beautiful women and you want them nothing is wrong with with wanting craving based on physical sex appeal and all of that nothing is wrong with that but don't go after these women expecting to find the overall package I'm not saying that it's impossible to find that I'm just saying don't expect something from them that they never told you that they're going to give you in the first place you get you forget what I'm saying a lot of men go after these women who they know based on how they see these women carry themselves that you have to be at a certain level financially to maintain help them maintain their lifestyles don't go after these women hoping to change them thinking that you buy them a little rose here and there you pay a bill here and there that that's going to be enough that's not ever going to be enough for those women so you see them you leave them alone simple no don't go after women as well who don't need all of those stuff the women who only need a man to be there for them comfort them hold their hand you know don't go after those women expecting those women to engage in acts that the other women would not saying it's impossible but what I'm basically saying is stop asking people to change their persona just to fit into what you see on social media which oftentimes is not even real there are so many people who check in on these couples more than they check in on their own partner more than they um, evaluate their relationships to see how they can improve on them they are more up to date with what other couples are posting where other couples are going and all of those stuff and it's so sad I mean I'm not saying that anything is wrong with um, wanting to be like someone else or using someone else as inspiration nothing is wrong with that but don't let it reach a point where you're so consumed with these people where literally anything them put on you put on anything them eat you eat anywhere them go you go where's your individuality and the bigger social media becomes 
is the more people are losing their individuality i mean it's come to a point where so many times i go on social media and it's like everybody look the same everybody doing the same things everybody saying the same things and you literally have to dig through to find something someone different than the rest people are doing so many things just to be trending and then they wonder why their mental health is forever damaged you don't even know who you are you've lost yourself in the popular feed And some of us realize when it's far too late when we really, when we've already killed the best parts of ourselves all in the name of trending of becoming the number one influencer knowing who you are is so important and if nobody sees that as being popular or they don't want you to trend for those reasons then okay it's not for you so i don't want this to go on too too long i just want you to come and talk a little so in conclusion i just want to say moving forward as we are coming to the end of this year strive to protect your individuality even if you feel like say things that take forever for, um to take off your career will take forever take up because you're not a certain things don't change you can always improve on who you are but do not change the qualities that make you who you are don't change it it might take longer but you're gonna feel better when you reach where you reach and know that you remained who you are yeah those are just my words for you today so guys don't forget to like share and subscribe. Bye.